14 Minesweeper variants just came out as a full game. This is a game that takes Minesweeper and adds a crazy new rule to it to create interesting and exciting puzzles. This wacky rule is the wall. You can see the cells with two numbers in them. Those denote the number of mines in a row surrounding a cell. So a one and a four means that there's four mines in a row and the one means there's one mine in a row. This one, two, and two translates to one in a row, two in a row, two in a row. So the number not only represents the number of mines, but the streak of them. How can I solve this puzzle? Well, a zero is simple. It means none of the surroundings are mines. But now I got something interesting. I got one of these two being a mine and one of these two being a mine. So that'll satisfy the one, then the one, meaning this is never a mine. They're actually not giving me much here. I have a one, one, one here. So three separate islands of which there are a ton of ways to do so. Well, the two does mean it's two in a row. Let's say there were a mine here. Because this two means two mines in a row, that means I gotta have a mine either here or here. And either one would actually invalidate the clue below. Because it only mentions ones, this would be two in a row. That's just invalid. So that can never be a mine. A one and a two. Well, I think that says a lot about where this two is. Let's talk about these twos right here. I think they have to share the same two in a row because the only way they don't share it is if there's like two in a row up here. But then where would the two in a row for this two be? It would have to be somewhere that invalidates one of these ones. So I can't have that. So that means the two in a row is not in these two, which means this is not a mine. This is a mine. Thank you for nothing, question mark. That does also mean this is not a mine. Got two twos. Well, this is helpful. One of the twos must be here. At least I have two in a row, and then this can't be a mine to end the two in a row. The one is just complete. It already has its mine. One of these must be a mine. Well, then the other two to complete this cell requires two mines here. So now this two to have the two in a row must have a, a other mine here. These are not a mine. This is a mine. I have a one that is complete and a bunch of question marks. I have two in a row, which must be capped off. And then the one is unaccounted for, which is right here. And again, the ones adjacent to these are only one in a rows. So I have to block off that flag. A two and a three in a row is interesting. That means this must be a mine, but I don't know if this is a mine because this could be either part of the two or the three in a row. How about I go to these ones? Well, this is the first one and the second one is here. So these two are non-mines, three in a row. Ooh. Well, I feel like now I have to go to these cells right here. I've already got two of the one in a rows accounted for in this. So one of these two is a mine. So let's maybe consider the options for this one and two. Let's say that this cell's mine is here because it's a one in a row. There can't be a mine here. And then I would need to have two in a row be right there. Or the only other option is to have the mine be here nothing be here. And then I could have a two in a row either be here or here. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that this cell is never a mine. So goodbye. Now I'm pretty sure these work together very strangely. I want to consider what would happen if this were a mine. This could never be a mine then, because then otherwise I would have three in a row, invalidates the one, two. Then because this is one in a row, I would have to have the two in a row be right here. And that completes that cell, so none of these would be mines. There would be a mine here, and then this one, two is just wrong. So clearly that can't be, meaning this is a non-mine. Oh, I have a two, three, which actually lines up perfectly with the unmarked cells. They're all just mines. And actually this one, two is now complete. Mark all those. This one, two has its two, but it's one must go here. This two, three means I can have another mine here. And I still don't know which is part of the three. Whichever is part of the three, I know this will never be a mine. This one, two has its two in a row, meaning this caps off the two in a row. And then the one must go here. And this has two in a row once and then two in a row a second time, and then that is complete. Three in a row is marked here. The two three is complete. This is a non-mine. Find out that corner later. I have a two two, which means I must complete the other two and that cell is finished. I have a one one two. Well, here's a one. Here's a two that must be capped off. One of these two is a mine. Actually, I could look at this one three. I have the one already. So the three is in within here. It's three in a row. So no matter how you slice it, these two will always be mines. Either it's these three or it's these three. And this one, one, two is now complete. Has everything it wants. Three is taken care of. Three in a row. Well, I've already got one, so I have to just connect the other two. Three in a row complete. The one forces a mine here. There is one mine remaining and it must be in the bottom left corner. 
Perfect clear. You'll love to see it. This was a sick puzzle. Let's do another. This puzzle has an entirely different rule. The rule of quad. There must be at least one mine in every two by two area. So if there exists a two by two on the board without a mine, well, then you've done something wrong. That paired with minesweeper rule should be interesting. So here you can see I have a two by two and three of the four in the two by two are non-mines, meaning the last has to be a mine. Otherwise, the rule of quad is broken. And in fact, I do have a six here with uh, six unmarked cells. So I guess they all have to be mines. Maybe that's simpler. I have a four, which tells me one of these three is a mine. But think about what would happen if this were the mine. Then neither of these would be mines, and I would have a two by two with no mine. Which means that this cannot be a mine, and one of these two is a mine. But think about this two here. That covers a ton of area. Like, imagine if this were a mine. Then I would have so many two by twos that would be no good. I think the only way to actually make sure there's no two by two is to have this be a mine. Yeah, this seems like the only way to do it. So mine, and then no other mines. Still, though, got to complete the four. And then this four says two out of these three are mines. Five says three out of four are mines. Maybe I have to think about this two next. How can I position mines around the two to prevent empty two by twos? Well, one way to do that is to have them be on opposite sides of the two like this. No two by twos would be created. Diagonals, though, do leave a two by two open, which is no good. Even if I do diagonal with below, there's still this two by two here. So I think we can actually rule out the corners being mines. Yeah, these are non mines. And now we got some really weird stuff. I don't know how I want to take notes of this, but you see us four. Imagine if both the mines were here and here. Then neither of these would be mines. Then I would have a bad two by two. So this is an impossible case. So there must be at most one mine here. Hell, it could be zero. It can't be zero though because of the five next to it. Three out of the four remaining cells are mines. But I know that both of them can't be here. Meaning that both of these are mines. This is not a mine. And then exactly one of these two is a mine. Which also means one of these two is a mine. Which then also means that all three of these are mines to satisfy this four. Bam, bam, bam. And don't worry, I'm not making any guessing here. I actually have this setting on the game called expert mode, which means that if I have made a move that is possible to be wrong, it will readjust the mines. So my guess automatically comes wrong. So I have to make every single move be logically perfect. Otherwise the game will punish me. It's a really cool feature of this game. Anyways, I do have a one completed. I guess I have a five, which forces mines to be here three which forces mines i have a two that's complete i have another two that's complete i gotta be careful one of these two has to be a mine otherwise i have a two by two problem and that would be the second mine around that two so these two are non-mines well i do have a two by two which is blocked with a mine here one of these two is a mine this five has two spots left so i guess they're both mines there we go one of these two is a mine. This two forces a mine here. This four forces a mine here. This two is complete. This five is complete. This two forces a mine here. There are two mines remaining. And I have two yellow lines. The two mines must be in those lines. So the rest are non-mines. This six is complete. And the two remaining cells are both mines. Oh, I also missed this corner. That's a perfect clear. You'll love to see it. Damn, that was way faster than I thought. Like, damn, I should have put the timer on for that for that. That was some fast shit. I've got another new rule. Don't worry, the previous new rules don't apply. This one's simple. All mines must form one by two or two by one blocks. Blocks do not touch each other. Here you can see examples of one by two and two by one blocks. Here is an example of, well, non one by two or two by one blocks. This is technically consistent of two one by two blocks, but they can't be touching each other. So how can I use that to help me out here? Well, this one in the corner, imagine if this were a mine, it has to make a two by one. So that would have to mean that there was a mine here, but that would overwhelm the one, which is no good. This is a non mine and a zero. I can click on it to get rid of it. This is simple minesweeper. One of these two is a mine. One of these two is a mine that completes this two, meaning this is not a mine. That's a four, huh? Well, the mines that can come off of this one is either a domino here or a domino here. Same with this one, domino here or domino here. I think in relation to this four, then I can't have a domino here and a domino here because then all these would be empty and I would only have at most three mines that don't even form a domino. And I guess I could have both of these dominoes show up. I mean, this is legal, but it doesn't have to be that. That way i'm sure it could just be one domino like this for instance so i don't think there's much i can do what about this one i mean there's so many legitimate dominoes that can be attached to this one i can't see how that implies anything 
Well, I guess it can't be either of these two. Oh yeah, because this would interact with both of the dominoes here, which is no good. But all it tells me is that this here is not a mine, which might be enough. And actually, I know that there will be a domino here or a domino here. So that means I can get rid of a lot of other options. These two can't be mines. Yeah, neat. And then I'll also have something really interesting. What I do know is that two out of these three are mines, but it can't be both of these because that would complete the two. None of these would be mines and then the one would be upset. So that means this has to be a mine. And now I know that between these two dominoes, it can't be this domino because it would form a weird macaroni elbow. So these two must be mines. Holy cow getting somewhere exciting and then i did prove that this could be a mine combination around the four which is what i must do now bam i mean wow <laughs> this is uh unfolding nicely i now have just the normal minesweeper pattern one of these two is a mine and then one of these two is a mine and then with respect to the two that means this is not a mine it's crazy how this happens i also have my domino here so i can mark off these as non-mines i can also complete the third mine here this must make a domino so the other half is here and then mark off the boundaries. This three has only one more mine around it. So it can't be this domino that would overwhelm the three, meaning these two are mines and this is complete. And this is not a mine either. So this can't be a mine because then this would also have to be a mine making the three become a four. So not a mine, a mine. And then this completes the domino, block it off. I have five with three mines, two spaces remaining. Both of them must be mines. Block off the space around the domino. I have a three. This can't be a mine because no matter which way it goes in the domino, there will be another mine within the three overwhelming it. So a non-mine here. Well, I know this can't be a mine. It would just be a solo mine, not part of a domino. Is it possible for this to not be a mine? I don't think so because sure, it looks fine now, but then I have a domino here overwhelming this three. No good. This must be a mine. That means there's no way it's possible for this to be a mine. Where would the domino go? Nowhere. Non-mine. And now maybe I gotta think about the mines around the three. I mean, I could do a domino here. I could have this be a domino or I could have this be a domino. All legitimate. What about the possibility so this would be a mine and then both the threes are complete? I feel like nothing conclusive can be drawn from this. Yeah, just following this thread. I mean, I could have a bunch of dominoes wherever I feel like. I know I have five remaining mines, but I don't see how that's supposed to help me. I mean, if this were a mine, maybe this is the more exclusionary one, but then I still don't have much of an issue. This is just where the last five mines are. Maybe I have to think about something really weird. This spot right here, this can never be a mine because then I would block off everything around this three with the domino. There we go, non-mine. Okay, but I can do something similar right here. This can't be a mine, because then I again block off everything around the three, non-mine. That's a two, I can work with that. That rules out this as a domino possibility, the two would be overwhelmed, but it does leave two domino possibilities, both of which have exactly one mine within its border, which means that exactly one of these two is a mine, which means exactly all the rest are non-mines. This three forces a mine here. This three is complete. This two is complete. This two forces a mine here. This three forces a mine here. There are two mines remaining and it must be in the top left. What an interesting puzzle. One more. I saved the crazy one for last. Outside. All non-mines are orthogonally connected and all mines are, are orthogonally connected to the outside. This is technically two rules at once. The mines must somehow form a path to the border. It must be a sideways or vertical path, not a diagonal path. You can see this here, diagonal path doesn't work. Can't be maroons like this. And then the other rule is for the non-mines, they must all be orthogonally connected somehow. You can see here, there's an island of two non-mines, which is not okay. So it's kind of two rules at once. Let's see if I can do it. Well, I've got a zero to start things off. I've also got three mines, pretty easy. Got three mines again. I know that the non-mines have to orthogonally connect to all the rest. So I got to continue the path here. I've got a one none of those are mines now i've got something interesting one of these two is a mine and then this three says two out of these three are mines well this two now says because i have two mines in here none of the rest are mines great start now i don't know where to go next i actually have a lot of weird possibilities i feel like i've got to work with all these big numbers somehow like there's only one non-mine here only one non-mine here only one non-mine here one non-mine here one non-mine here. So I feel like it's just going to become a casing of mines. But what do I do? Well, actually, I know that exactly one mine m must be here and one mine must be here. I think I can explain it by what if there wasn't exactly one mine 
in this spot. What if there were zero mines? Well, it's not possible for there to be zero mines here because then this four would have at most the three mines around it. Well, what if there were two? If there were two mines, then both of these would have to be non-mines, and then this two would only have at most one mine around it. And you can do the same just going in the opposite direction. So with exactly one mine here, exactly one mine here, that must mean there's a mine here to complete the two, and three mines here to complete the four. I now have a two that's complete, I now have a three which forces two mines here, and maybe I'm getting somewhere now. Kind of thinking about this four right now, I know two out of these three must be mines. What if the mines were here and here? The concerning part is making the mines actually touch the edge, but that's actually not that hard because this is completely legitimate, breaks no rules whatsoever. What it does mean is that this dot right here has to somehow connect to all the rest of the non-mines. And that's where it gets tricky because I will have to go around these flags at some point and isolate them from the edge of the map. Eventually it will have to go through here. And actually, I guess that's maybe bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's rule breaking. So all that stemmed from the idea that this was not a mine. So I've disproved this, meaning this is a mine. I now have exactly one of these two is a mine, and then two out of these three are mines. I don't think this could ever be a mine. This would have to be a non-mine to complete the four, and then neither of these could be a mine because of the one. So it would be a flag on an island, which is no good. So this is a non-mine. This is a mine. I'm feeling pretty happy right now. Next question I have, can this ever be a mine? Well, actually, specifically, can these two ever be mines, completing the four? The issue is this would be a non-mine. I got to figure out how I would get this to connect with the rest. It would have to come around and close off these flags. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if the flags just come through here? Nuh-uh-uh. -uh. That overwhelms this too. Only one of these is a mine. So the flags ain't getting out. Meaning... This must be a mine. So now I have one of these two is a mine, one of these two is a mine. Because one of these two is a mine, that almost forms a barrier of mines. So I have to have this question mark non-mine connect with the other non-mine somehow, and it has to go through this choke point here. So these two are part of the choke points. I always have to go through them. So they are always non-mines. Wow, that's cool. Meaning that this is a mine. And this six must mean the pathway must continue. I can't have the flags be here and here because that blocks off the path. So this must be a mine. And if the path continues, this is not a mine. And then I can complete the six. The path must continue. This fourth mine must be here. And now I've connected them. And now I'm not sure what I want to do about the four. I guess there can't be a mine here because... No, there could be. No, there can't be, because then there would be a non-mine here. And how is this going to connect to the rest? Not through the top. Again, one of these two must be a mine. So I guess this is a non-mine. How many mines am I missing anyway? So I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. What I'm thinking about is this. If this were a mine, what do I actually do about these three cells? I have to have a mine like here or something like that. I can't have them be non-mines, so I guess they're mines, right? All right, cool. I've got five mines. And then one up here because it doesn't really make a difference. And now I have two mines remaining. This is based off the eight up here. Eight remaining and I've used six in this weird hypothetical. One of them must be here. One of them must be here. My main issue is how does this mine get to the edge? There's an easy way if I put the mine here, but then I gotta do something like this. Oh no, I'm at eight mines and I still need one here. This is a big problem all stemming from the idea of this being a mine. So it's not a mine. Boom, you love to see it. I do know one of these is a mine now, although it can't be this one because then I would have a non-mine on an island. So mine, non-mine. And now I got to think about how this mine cluster is reaching the edge. In conjunction with, I guess, the mine around this three, one of these two must be a mine. What if this were the mine? Then this wouldn't be a mine, but this still needs to reach the edge. So I would have a mine here to reach the edge, but then I have an island here, so that's no good. The only solution is to have this be the mine around the three, and then this could be, well, whatever. I guess so. Mine, non-mine. And the one means the mine is here. Four is complete. Beautiful progress. With four mines remaining, I feel like I have a world of possibility, but I know one of these two has to be a mine. And then I'll have three mines left to get this mine connected to the edge somehow. Obviously, the easy way is to connect it here, and I feel like that might be the only way, because the only other way would be to connect from this direction. I can't go here, because I would overwhelm the one and the three, technically. So I would then have to go here and then here. So this is valid. No, it's not. It creates an island of non-mines in here. Aha! So that means this here must be a mine. There it is. This four is now complete. This two I can complete. This 
third mine must be here and thank you for automatic placing when the logic is simple and there's one mine remaining it must be one of these two spots i mean i know it's going to be this spot here because all the rest are going to be non-mines and they have to connect to this whole thing so i'll just mark it and there we go beautiful clear i mean these are just sick logic puzzles oh what's this Ooh. so there are still plenty of rules and variations to discover as well as whatever the hell this flag is more 14 minesweeper variants coming soon thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed i got a playlist of this game if you want to check the other variants hope you all have a wonderful day and peace